This video covers the installation and configuration of the 4G cellular cartridge in an ESP LXME2 controller. This bundle includes the cellular cartridge, a pre-installed SIM card that is activated with an IP address, and an internal antenna for use with the LXME2 standard plastic case. Let's walk through the installation. If you have an IQ0 slot module, be sure to connect the ground wire. Note, the IQ Pro Smart Connection module seen here is only required for PE cable hardware communication between server and client controllers. The internal cellular antenna has a peel and stick adhesive. Place the antenna on the inside top wall in a horizontal orientation. Next, remove the cover from the communication cartridge bay and expose the board edge connector that the cartridge will connect to. Attach the antenna's MCX connector to the cartridge and be sure it snaps on securely. Next, connect the ribbon cable of the cartridge to the edge connector of the front panel. Put the feet into the slots and snap the cartridge into place. Finally, route the coax cable through the channel and the installation is complete. Next, we'll configure the cartridge. Turn the dial to advanced settings and select Configure Cartridge. When you see the Setup Wizard, press Next. Choose what type of satellite you want to configure it as, Direct, Server, or Client. We'll choose Direct. It's going to configure this for address number one, which is the default. It will display the cellular carrier and modem type. Click Next, and then click Dismiss. Return to the menu, select Status, and check the IQ communication port status. It should indicate that it's idle, which means that it's connected to the cellular tower and network and is ready for a call from IQ. Check the signal quality by pressing the Signal button. It will disconnect from the network in order to run this test. In this case, it indicates we have an OK server signal with a 3 out of 10 signal strength. If the signal quality is 2 or below, we can try relocating the controller using an extension to mount the antenna outside the building, installing a high-gain external antenna, or using a cellular booster to boost the signal. An optional external antenna is offered for use with metal cases, like the Rainbird LXMM Metal Case Series controller cabinets for LX controllers. There is a knockout located at the top right of the controller. You would knock this out and then drill a corresponding hole using the starter notch on the metal pedestal. The external antenna would slide through the hole and knockout and connect at the bottom with a nut. This gets the cellular antenna outside the metal enclosure for the best signal strength. This keeps the antenna aligned in the same orientation as the cellular tower antennas. Route the antenna's coax cable behind the zero slot module and the ribbon cable. 